Hello guys, so this is the five questions a day lens today. So today I posted five questions for you. So we're going to quickly, quickly discuss all the five. So the first question was blunt trauma results in blunt trauma results in Rosette cataract. It's a very basic flower shaped cataract. It's a posterior subcapsular cataract. Now what about the other options? Sunflower cataract is seen wherever copper is involved. That is, it's seen in Wilson's disease and also when you have copper foreign body inside the eye. What is copper foreign body inside the eye called? It's called chalcosis, right? Now, Christmas tree cataract. Christmas tree cataract is seen in myotonic dystrophy. And stellate cataract, a star-shaped cataract is seen in, again, myotonic dystrophy and also in Down syndrome. All right, let's move to the second question. After three months of cataract surgery, a 60-year-old male complains of glare while driving at night. What is the most probable cause? See, what are the typical causes of glare at night? You have posterior subcapsular cataract and posterior capsular opacification. Now, what's the other name for posterior capsular opacification, secondary cataract or after cataract? Now, complicated cataract is usually a posterior subcapsular cataract. So, that is why it is also an, in one of the options. But this patient has already undergone cataract surgery. So that means complicated cataract and posterior subcapsular cataract don't fit our bill. Now, uh, secondary cataract, yes. So that is the other name for PCO. Now, why is even ARMD among the options? Yes, ARMD also causes glare, but during daytime. Okay, got it? So the answer here is secondary cataract, that is posterior capsular opacification, which typically occurs one to three months after cataract surgery, just like cataract, that is slow progressive painless decrease in vision that's why we call it after cataract okay now the next question is on ectopia lentis dislocation of lens typically seen in homocystinuria now homocystinuria is down and in that is inferonasal exactly opposite to marfans marfans is up and out that is superotemporal i always remember like this the moment somebody says marfans i think of mars you know and then mars is upper space outer space so up and out superotemporal for mars exactly opposite homocystinuria down and in, inferonasal. Now, where you get anterior and inferior dislocation, where I have chotasa lens, spherophakia, microspherophakia, that is wheel Marchesani syndrome. Now, where do I get a posterior dislocation of lens? When there is, you know, a blunt trauma. All right. Okay. Now, the next question, a th three-year-old boy operated for congenital cataract and PCIO will put in, what are, which of the following is a true statement. Now, first of all, whether it is congenital cataract or an adult cataract, senile cataract, whatever it is, once you put an IOL, it stays there for life. You don't have to replace it, okay? So, both options A and B uh, are wrong. So, you don't have to replace it after 20 years or uh, when the eyeball reaches its adult size at 13 years of age. No need, okay? It's going to stay. Why it's going to stay? Because that is how we calculate the intraocular power. So, less than 2 years of age, when we calculate, yes, biometry is done. But when we implant the IOL, we do a little under correction 20 percent less than the calculated power is what we implant now two to eight years is 10 percent under correction after eight years whatever is the calculated value all right so that means option c is the right one okay so uh, 10 percent lesser than the calculated value now coming to that uh, image based question so the image one pick a day keeps fear of off color away so it was this so can you see here there is an iol and it's a pc iol and can you see the three dots here? Uh, where am I showing? Okay, can you see the three dots here? The laser marks. Basically, these are laser marks showing the axis of the lens. Because in this lens, there is a cylinder incorporated. So, where there's a cylinder, it's a toric. Okay, so it is a toric IOL for regular astigmatism to correct even pre-existing -exist astigmatism. Is that clear? So, five questions a day, lens today, UTAD, one of that topic a day. So, tomorrow we will have uh, glaucoma questions. Five questions and followed by discussion. So where do I post these questions? I post them on the my Telegram group at 9 p.m. There's a quiz. Okay. And also on my Insta, I mentor Dr. Rajaratna. So on both these accounts, I post them. And then we go around discussing. Okay. All the best, guys. God bless you.